Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Wizard Training on the Cup Coach server. I am your host, Magus96. Somebody, somewhere, is hurting. I don't see them, though. Oh, well, no big deal. Um, this episode, I apologize in advance. This episode is going to be fairly short. Um, real reason is, well, I've got some announcements to make, and that's pretty much all we're going to be doing on this episode. And you'll understand more when I make the announcements. Um, I guess to open up to it and lead up to it, uh, the first thing is I want to I want to mention, and I, I know I've mentioned it several times before, but my wife, my family, and I have been having some financial problems. Um certain government agency, Department of Education, not mentioning any names, has decided that they need to garnish me for my student loans, which, hey, I understand. They need to get paid, too. But they don't need to be getting paid this much. Like, the amount they're taking out of my check is essentially a rent on a house. Um, and we really honestly can't afford it. It's it's hurting us really bad, and we're having to tighten our belts and cut expenses here and cut expenses there and all kinds of stuff are getting trimmed back. Like, I mean, I used to have you know Friday night beer night and and that that was the first thing to go. And I, I used to have a, a game fund so that I could buy new games to do for the Cupcoat Spotlight, and that's gone too. Um. A lot of stuff in my family is changing. A lot of a lot of the things that we do, or the way we spend and and stuff, is changing. And it's not all it's not all fun and games. It's it's not all good. Um, I wish there was a better way. I wish there was something else that we could do. I mean, the only other thing I could really do is to you know sell a blockbuster blockbuster game and, and get millions, but. I'm not, I don't see that as a reality for me. Yes, I make games. I, I do make games on the side. I'm working on a new game right now. Um, I'll go ahead and let the name of the game drop. It, the, the name of the game is called Jet Fighter Neon. It is another Android game. It will be released by the 20th. Uh, and actually, I've, I think I've mentioned this on my main website that, I, that we've got that. Um, so Jet Fighter Neon will be released on the 20th, but I don't expect it to be a blockbuster game. I don't expect it to be, you know, a hit selling game. Um, I don't expect any of my games to make me millions. Just to be honest with you, I do them because I enjoy doing it. Just like YouTube. I do this because I enjoy doing it. It's not for the money, but oh my God, the money would help. So I say all this to, to get to the point that... In part, as part of you know, trying to balance our but our family budget, because right now we're in the negative. We we we're cutting stuff back, but we're still ending up in the red every month, where we can't afford to continue on as we are. So we have to cut off services and do this and do that. Um, so one of those services is the server. Now, as most of you are aware, the server is paid on a yearly basis. It is one hundred and two dollars per year. And it's normally paid up front on the yearly basis. Our payment it doesn't come due, due until like May. However, my family is in such dire straits that right now, when I got my last paycheck, we were already in the negative on our next paycheck by the amount of our paycheck. Meaning that I would have to earn two paychecks at a time at once just to catch up. And that's not a possibility. So what we're having to do is we're having to find ways of pulling more money into the budget real quick just to make it through to the new year. Because um, once we get to the new year, hopefully things will ease up a little bit. Because, you know, then you got tax season. Then we've got, you know, my company gives out a, a, a bonus, the, the, a yearly bonus every year around April. Um We've also got Christmas coming. You know, sometimes some of our family members help out with money and stuff. 
Um, but realistically, we're just trying to get through to Christmas. And and if we can make it till then, I think we'll be able to make it through. And we things maybe start to level off after that. So it's this last two months that's really hurting us. And we're scraping together every little bit of funds we can. And I know that... Can't, so I know that if I was to cancel the server, which I'm getting to that, we are we are going to talk about that, that at this point, I'm probably only going to get about 40 or 50 bucks back from the server. But that's 40 or 50 bucks that we don't currently have. And that 40 or 50 bucks could be the difference between our bank account bouncing checks and not. And that's the honest to God truth. I mean, you guys deserve to know why things are being done that are affecting the show and that are affecting the server because the server was put here if the server was not set up for me i did not design this server i did not pay for this server for me to play on i've set this server up for all of you guys for my, the fans so that you could come onto the server and play on the server with me that's the whole purpose for the server um but unfortunately we're gonna have to close shut down the server and I say that with a heavy heart because I really I don't want it's not something that I want to do it this is not something that I'm I'm doing lightly it, it isn't it, it's something that I've thought about long and hard for the past week and a half and especially the last few days I've really given it a lot of thought I've done a lot of number crunching on it I've been looking at how many players have been on the server over the past couple of years um, and not just over the, the whole year. I'm talking on a month-to-month -month or day-to-day -day, down to a week-by-week -week basis. How many players were logging in? How many different players were logging in from one week to the next? From one month to the next? And the numbers, when I crunched them, they don't look good. They really don't. In all honesty, if I had looked back at these numbers six months ago, a year ago, I probably would have shut the server down then just because the cost that I'm, the price that I've been spending on the server isn't justified by the number of players that have been playing on the server. Um, and by that, I'll go ahead and, and quote some of the numbers. Uh, our highest averages were during the summer, three months of the year. And even during that time, the most number of players that we would have on at one time maximum was usually around seven to 11. The average was seven. That's not a good. That's not good for a server that's costing one hundred and two dollars a year. I mean, I know one hundred two dollars a year doesn't seem like much when you break it down into a per month thing, but it it really it doesn't justify itself. I mean, the one hundred and two dollars rank that we paid is so that we could have twenty something players on the server. If but the problem is, if we downgraded the server to just holding ten people. The server wouldn't have enough memory then to run all the mods that we run. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from here. It's not justified as far as that. But I'm not saying that, that that's my only reason. I'm saying that that was a major block, a major stepping stone for me to make my decision. It, it, the other major stepping stone was the family budget and how bad it was looking. And it's, it's not pretty. It, it, I, I'm hoping... That will make I'm not hoping. I know we're gonna make it. I know we're gonna we're gonna make it through. We're gonna manage it. It's not gonna be easy though. Um, with that said, now that I've announced it, the server will be going shutting down on Wednesday, November the 11th. That's this no this Wednesday. So we've got like from the day you see this, it'll have two days before the server shuts down. Just so you're aware. I know I hate to do that to you guys, but. We need the money. Um, that's the best way I could put it. It's our finances are up in the air. We're struggling really bad. I know that there's families out there that are a lot worse than we are, and so with that, I can't really complain a whole lot. I know that there's players that make a quarter of the amount of money that we do. You know that I'm, I bring in a good amount of money each year just from my primary job. And I know that there's a lot of families out there who both mom and dad work and they don't even make half of what I make, what I bring home each year. And I acknowledge that. And But at the same time, it's one of those things that once you've gotten to that income level and you've got a large family, you get comfortable with it, 
And it's really hard to back down from that. Like, I know there's people that live on $20,000 a year, families that live on twenty dollars or $30,000 a year. We haven't done that in so long that for us to back down to that level, it's hard for us to do because we're used to having, you know, high-speed internet. We're used to having two cars and, you know, you know, full insurance on both cars and full insurance on the house and medical insurance and all that. And so it's going to take some time for us to back down back to it. And so that's what we're starting to work on now. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah. Uh, you know what I want to, uh, what I want to say is even though I'm shutting the server down, the server is shutting down on November 11th. I do have a full backup of the server that I've downloaded as of today, Saturday, um, I am not back. I'm not downloading another backup of the server after today. Today is it. That's not when we're done. Um, so, but if you would like a copy of the world files, send me an email. My ma email address is mages96 at cupcodegamers.com and I'll make sure that you get a copy of the world files. Now, I'm not a hundred, I don't, I'm not a hundred percent certain what you're going to need to do to translate those world files for you to play offline. I'm not certain, but that's something I'm thinking I might try to do that. I might go ahead and try to, to rebuild this into an offline game so that I can continue my, my series here. Um, I'm going to give that a shot this week. If it doesn't work, then that means next week we will be starting over. Maybe. I say maybe. Um, part of that is because, you know, I want to get rid of games that require a lot of prep work. And Minecraft really does require a lot of prep work when you're doing a video. Because look. I got this whole house back here I got to build. I got gardens I have to do. And that's not stuff that you really want to do on screen. So I got a lot of stuff off screen that I need to do to get this set up. So I'm kind of thinking in a way I want to keep wizard training going because that's what started my channel. But at the same time, I want to free myself up during the week so that I can do my game development. And so what that means is if I do continue with wizard training, then I'm going to end up doing a lot of mundane stuff on the, uh, I may end up doing a lot of mundane stuff on the video. And I know you guys don't like watching that. So I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, I can continue wizard training, but you guys probably aren't going to want to watch it anymore. Cause you know, I'll be building the houses and gardening and doing everything else. I won't be doing anything off camera anymore. Um, or I can not continue wizard training and not continue Minecraft and choose a different game to replace it. A game that doesn't require a whole lot of setup. Like right now I'm doing Skyrim. Like, I don't know, maybe I can do, maybe I can expand on that and do one game at a time using a non-prep game and just release four cop, four episodes for that game every week. So I'm only focusing on one game so we can get through it faster. Uh, that's an idea. I don't know. I haven't thought about I haven't given that a whole lot of thought But you guys feel free to tell me in the comments below what you think which direction you think You'd like to see me go in would you like me to see me do just one game at a time four episodes a week and spotlight or you know, Maybe get rid of the spotlight and just do one game at a time five shows a week. That's fine. I can do that, too um, so you tell me what you think, what you'd like to see me do. I know some of you are going to be, are going to say, Hey, I want you to continue wizard training. I'm cool with that too. If that's what you want me to do, just realize that I'm not going to be doing as much off screen, mainly because I don't, I'm not giving myself time. I'm going to be spending a lot more time with game development. I'm trying to push my games and get them done and get some more games out there on the market because the more I figure the more games I get out there on the market the better the chance that I might actually start earning some kind of income from them um, and that that and I've got a lot of games that I plan on building I've got a huge long list of game ideas that I want to get to and Victor Shellaru one of one of the greatest gaming developers that I know uh, the, the the thing he keeps always saying is an idea is worthless the implementation is priceless it, I, it may not be the exact wording that he uses but the point is that you, um, if you just because you have an idea it doesn't mean crap you got to actually build it and so that's what I want to do is I want to take all these ideas that I have off on the side and I want to start building it and so to, to facilitate that I'm cutting out prep work throughout the week. I'm not going to be doing any more YouTube prep work during the week. Instead, 
I'm going to be doing shows that I can just jump straight into, start recording, finish recording, render, edit, upload, and be done for that, done with it for the week. And that way I can focus more on game development. Um, but like I said, the big, big takeaway from today's show, even though we're not doing a dang thing, is that wizard training may be coming to an end. The server is definitely over. It, it is ending. This is going to be the last episode from the server. Um, I, I don't have much else for it. Oh, oh, oh. While I'm doing it, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. So what I can do, what I can do here is... J. No, no, no. I'm hitting the wrong, wrong keys here. Hold on. We're going to hide the minimap. I don't want to hide the coordinates. All right. Back to game. All right, there we go. So let's see. Home. All right, we're going to go. Home. I'm going to show you some of the other houses real quick just so you can see what we're doing, what other players have done. Uh, this first one is Reginald's house. Uh, Reginald's one of our longtime players. He's been playing on this server. Oh, God. He, I wouldn't say since the beginning, but he's been on here for quite a long time. Now, what Reginald has done is I've given him, uh, using my administrative account, I've given him a whole bunch of blood magic equipment that he's been going through and building spells. Mere intent is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. Why is that there? Hold on. Let's fix that. All right. Go away. Lower blocks in front of you. Okay. So mere intent is these are all blood magic spells that he's gone through and he's researched them and he's worked them out and tried to done, tried, tried to do various different things. Like this one, when you use it, pulls entities towards you. That one, push entities away, push entity up in the air. Uh, this one's like a magnet for items. Let's see what else has he done. He's got he's got a nice big house here. We're not going to go inside it. I'm just quickly showing you around because uh, I mean, even though the server is shutting down, I want to I want to highlight some of the stuff that some players have done. Look at this, creeper head. What is he doing here? Like really? What 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 what? Do you know? I don't know. He's been doing some, a lot of different stuff over here. Uh, mostly experimenting and testing. And he's been doing this so that I can learn from him. Like I come over here every now and then uh, during the week. And, you know, he'd be on and he'd show me how to do various different things that he'd, he'd figured out. And so he's been a great asset for me when it came to learning Thomcraft and, you know, a little bit of blood magic and stuff. Uh, let's see what else he's got in the back. Let's, let's scroll on back there. He's got another big spell back here. Let's see. Big area dig and magnet. So that's another blood magic spell. And this is new over here. I don't know. I haven't seen this yet. Paving stone of warding. So that keeps enemies out. Oh, he's got a cat in here somewhere. Somebody's got a cat. Okay, somebody's doing witchery over here. So that's pretty cool. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me. Wow. Okay. Well, he's got a protector there. That's <laughs> nice. So you're going to stay in the warding circle there, right? So like if I jump over this again, you're going to come after me. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think I need to eat. So I do believe his, his, his house just tried to kill me. All right, we're good on that. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Home. And we're going to go to Home Sanka Tor. All right, so this is another good friend of mine, Sanka Tor. He's been on the server for a long time as well. And wow, he's been doing a lot of work over here too. He, so th he lives in the desert. I know you can't tell it but because of all the stone around here, but he definitely lives in deserts. He looks at the desert out there. And he's got another warding stone circle out here to keep the enemies out. Uh, he's got this whole place inside here lit up so that he can work in here safely without enemies approaching or attacking him. Oh, looks like we got Silver Darkmoor up on up on his roof. Uh, he's he's been instrumental for me with blood magic and 
Thomcraft is what he's been instrumental for me. He's been he's taught me quite a bit about Thomcraft and blood magic. As you can see, he's got a bunch of Thomcraft stuffed over here. And so I'd come over here every now and then just to see how he had things built and to learn from him. For one, let's see. And then he's the one that actually it's from him that I learned how to do the blood magic altar, the the full tier, full set altar. Uh, he's the one that really taught it to me. Now, some of the others had done it before and shown it to me, but I was actually able to come over with with Senka and sit here and watch him build it and help him build it, actually. And in the process of helping him build it, you know, that just solidifies the learning. It makes it easier to, for me to learn it. Oh, it looks like we got a Mistcraft book here. I wonder, let's go. Let's go. Can we... Wow. Well, that's a pretty place. Look, we got some netherrack. We got some sentia pools. We got snow. Really? Wow. Otherwise, it looks empty. Yeah, I just took a major risk, by the way, be, by coming in here without my own re return book. But I kind of figured Senko would already have his set up in here. So I... I, I, I I was right about that, thankfully. Had I not been right about that, I don't know, man. I would have been stuck there and it would have all been bad. It had just been really, really bad. All right, so as you see, he's got a lot of stuff going on over here. We've got some infernal gliss. Uh, so this is witchery right here that he's got working on. Uh, we got a whole bunch of plants over there. Got his altar here. All bunch of different kind of stuff. All right, now the, the nice one, the big one is home group so the group is a group of several different people and not just the hell home group server does that every now and then it's weird come on put me back where i'm supposed to be um this is not where i'm supposed to be hello am i gonna die here home home Okay, I think the server is just being really, really slow in responding to me. So we're not going to be able to see a whole lot. Apparently. It doesn't like me. It's like, no. All right, so I'm home now. So let's try this again. Home group. Yeah, see, the server's lagging for me right now. It's all good. We'll wait, wait for it to catch up. If it doesn't kill me first. Here we go, teleporting back into dirt. All right, so bricks. Okay. Boom. Um. Right, right. So let's do this. I should not have teleported right there. That was just weird. Because I should have been up top here. Because this is where I have my spawn at. So, um, apologize for the hole in your wall. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. I have no idea. Um, so here's the group's home. And they. this is a group of like three or four different people that have been working together towards a common goal, essentially. They've been going through. I'm, I'm all jittery up in junk. So they've been going through and doing a bunch of stuff together as a team. And as a result, seriously, stop it. Like, I'm done with that. Quit. Quit. I'm here. We're done. So as a result, they were able to get a lot of stuff done really, really fast. And, like, they were pretty awesome in stuff they built. Like, this one here is a bloodstone altar, a blood altar. That if you come up here with, I think it was an Athame. I'm not carrying one. But if you come up here with an Athame and you kill those, then it, it sucks the blood directly into the altar and fills it up really, really fast. Because they've got spawners sitting up top there. That's really cool. Um, paving Stone of Warding. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's for. So maybe they spawn enemies in there. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There's spawners inside there. So at night, they might, they might pop out. See, look in here. See? Poof. So at night they might pop out of the wall over there, so we're good. 
Hey, what's this? This is new. Oh, a secondary level. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Sweet. So it's all come, going through the same thing. Okay, sweet. So got, they got more power going on. Um, as you see, they did a lot of stuff. They've done Blood Magic. They've done Witchery. They've done Ars Magica. Over here, they've got this really cool thing going on. This Creeping Vine. That's Creeping Vine. Yep. They got That's Creeping Vine. Oh, I can't climb the Creeping Vine. Spanish Moss. That's what it is. Spanish Moss. I can't climb it. Why can't I climb it here? I have this. I have that. <laughs> so here they had their little, I guess you call it the bean factory. So they do a whole, do all their beans to get their get their stuff here. I, I don't think I can open this. Nope. Oh, I can. Look. So they got all these beans up in here. I'm not going to take any. Oh, close it. And they've been growing those right there. Really cool. And as you see over here, this is the model for my Thomcraft matrix that i've been building as you can see they've got you know i pretty much followed their lead when it came to where the placements of those things but this is also where i learned about you know doing the candles around the outside and they're the ones that taught me about the the systematic placement of items to stabilize the matrix let's put it that way because I come over, I kept coming over here and seeing their their thing that they got going here, and I kept asking questions like, you know, what's with the lines in the thing? Why are they doing these special lines and stuff? And what these lines were for is to help them with placing stuff. So when they're placing stuff down, they can make sure it's symmetrical by using these lines as a guide. Uh, and then I started noticing that they were putting all this these crystals up underneath, so I had to ask about that too. And that's where they explain that by putting all these crystals underneath, they're placing them in a symmetrical method pattern, which helps stabilize the matrix so they can create stronger spells or stronger whatchamacallits. So that's cool. And then I came on with my administrator. Is this still here? It is still here. So this is one of the things I did with my administrator account that I came over to help them out. Designed for Wisp Spotter. We never were able to get this working. I don't think. All right, no, no, no. There's a wisp spawner in there. Did they ever get it working? Yeah, I guess they might have. I don't know. Oh, there is a wisp right there. Yep, see, there is a wisp right there. So the idea is that we come in here and you can shoot the wisp through this little hole here. And see, it'll drop stuff. So you can go inside there, pick it up. And walk out, close the door. That locks supposedly locks the wisp in there, so that you can just farm the wisp because that's a wisp spawner back there. So that's one of the things that I gave them, just kind of you know, because of all the stuff. The thing was, is it, the more you helped me, the more I was willing to give you stuff. I mean, you know, I tried. My thing was, I never gave players. I, I didn't normally just give stuff away. It was very rare that I would just normally give stuff away. So you generally had to earn it. Um, earn, most people earned it by teaching me something, even if it was something mundane, like how to build a, a factory, a spawner, or a place like this where you're, this is for blazes. So you can sit in here and you can fight the blazes and be relatively safe from the blazes. So when you when you teach me stuff like that, then I would be willing to just give you stuff that I thought that, that you needed. So that's kind of what went on here is they were trying to work out a spawn, the way to do a wisp spawner. So I sat down and built one for them. And well, there it is. Okay, and there's their house over there. Uh, pretty interesting. They got a lot of cakes outside. Don't know, you know, maybe somebody likes baking a lot. I don't know. And uh, they got a nice tower farm here. And then they built this glass walkway up here, which I helped out on the glass walkway a bit too, just because, you know, they were, what they had done is they had built this glass walkway and then put wooden fencing around the side of it. And they'd rather have the glass fencing, I guess, to make it more invisible so people don't just accidentally see the walkway as they're walking around, which. It makes sense so i kind of helped with that and we are not loading this this chunk right now so the server is like hey you're not doing this wait did we just get dark we just got dark it's like i'm walking falling out of the world oh we don't want to do that 
All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have. We did do a full episode, but like I said, this is kind of the last episode that's going to be on the server because the server is shutting down this Wednesday. I apologize for that. It's not something that could have been helped. If there was another way I could have that I could have went or something else I could have done, believe me, I would have done it. Right, this is just getting weird. This is getting really weird. All right, we're just going to stop right here. Uh, if there was something else I could have done to prevent it, I believe me, I would have. But unfortunately, there wasn't anything I could do. Um, the family, you know, got to take care of them first. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, a like, a comment, and a share. It lets me know that you care. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode if I make one or whatever.